Hey everyone, Bob here, KD4BMG. Remember when I gave you that quick tip on how to change the background color to your PyStar dashboard? Well, with all things electronic and software related, somebody decided it was time for a change. Let me update you today on HOA HIM. What changed had nothing to do with the PyStar Digital dashboard software or firmware upgrade, but rather with the service we were using to pick the Pantone color, Pantone.com. They decided to lure us in with free services where we could go in and choose the color we like and get the color number and then just take that and put it into our dashboard. Apparently, once 10 million hams did that, they decided it was time to charge for the service. So you can no longer get the color code that you need from Pantone.com. Somebody recently posted that question on my original video, hey, where do you get your color code? I have found an alternate source. So in this video update, I'm just gonna show you that alternate source, jump into the dashboard real quick and remind you how to do this. And in the future, if you can't find the color number at this new website, just keep navigating till you find the number. The website we're going to use is called icolorpalette.com. Right here's your link. And that's the home page. So let's just scroll down and see if we can find a color that we like. You already know that my dashboard is a blue color. Just to show you how this works, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get one of these green colors here. All right, so I go to a place where my mouse click will actually do something and let's see if I can find a color number. There are no numbers associated with this. Let's keep scrolling down. Here we go. See these numbers right here? I'm not sure how well they're showing up on the screen, but right here is a Number sign C6C86B. That's the number, oh, right here it is, <laughs> right in front of my face. Let's see if we can copy that number. We can copy that number. Do not highlight the number sign, the pound sign. Now, you can write this down on a post-it note, or you can do what I'm going to do right now. Press and hold down your control button, and then press the C button and let them both go. That's control copy. Hopefully that worked. Let's jump back over to our digital voice dashboard and let's log into configuration. We all know what to do here, pi dash star. I'm going to tell you my password, raspberry. It's been a while since I did this. Let's See, I believe we go into expert and CSS tool. Yeah, we're at the right spot. Right here, see this where it says 003A70. We're going to highlight that or delete it, whichever you wanna do. Now, we're in that cell, press control, hold it down, and the letter V is in Victor, and that's a paste. Or just type it in one by one. Apply changes. Look at that ugly green color. That's how it works. Go back to my dashboard, and that's how we change the background color. And of course, there are other colors in here. You can edit, go ahead and play with it. Make sure you remember what you did, so if you wanna undo something, you can undo it. For example, I don't like this color. I'm going right back into my dashboard. Let's go into expert CSS tool. And I'm putting back in the other color that I had because I like it better, 003A70. Apply changes, done. I guess we have to accept in our digital world, people will always be changing things on us. So if I put a tip or a trick out there and the feature that I showed stops working, drop me a note in that video and I'll start to investigate it and see what we can do to get that fixed. I'll post this update on YouTube sometime in the next week. Hope you found this helpful friend 73.